Hello, hello. Today we have a palette by Actius Luna Beauty. This is Actius Luna Cosmetics. This palette is called Actius Luna. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's the name of this... I think it's a butterfly. I think it could be a moth, though, based off the little ears that we're looking at here. It could be a moth. I'm not sure. But it's a palette inspired by this creature right here. On the back it says, Pressed Pigment Palette. Now, I saw this palette. I just happened upon a Tati Beauty video. I don't follow um, Tati. And I don't really watch her videos, but for some whatever reason, I decided this day to click on one of her videos. And I was watching this video where she was ranking the best and worst eyeshadow palettes. And this palette was in that video, and it caught my eye. This video, which I'll, I'll put it down below, what video that was. But this video that where she talks about this palette was on April 3rd of last year. So at this point, it's been a, it's been a year. We're coming back around. This is how long it takes me to get through all these palettes because I generally do more than one look and I base my results and my opinion off than just a first impression. I wear it a couple times before I'm like, okay, here, here's what it is. So she posted this video back in April 3rd of last year and I'm gonna look at my phone to see when I placed my order in. I placed my order on the 5th. So I must have seen her video like two days later, because two days later I posted, um, I went to the website and I bought my palette. So this is the Actius Luna palette. It cost $16 at the time, and I paid $6.44 for shipping. So I paid a total of $22.44 for this palette. Um, for $16 for this palette, I don't think it was that bad of a deal to try a new brand. It's supposed to be an indie brand, but you guys, what's the tea? What happened? So I went to look for the website again because I wanted to see if maybe there was a change in the pricing because I'm like well it's been a year maybe they've come out with more things who knows the website is gone the website is gone the, you can go on their Instagram their Instagram is still up they have over a thousand followers there's a bunch of like makeup looks and promotion for this palette but if you click on the actuslunacosmetics.com link it sends you to the website but on the website there's only jerseys to buy like Seattle Seahawk jerseys or something. Like, it's very bizarre. I don't understand what happened to the website. I don't know what happened to the brand. Um, maybe they ended up not being able to create more palettes and this was a one-time thing. I really don't know. Not sure what happened to this brand, but it kind of disappeared, which is kind of sad because I think they could have continued making their formula better and this could have been a exquisite palette if they have continued making more palettes. But this is the one I got today. Again, I got this over a year ago. So she's been waiting to be bought. This is the box. This is the actual palette. $16, you guys. $16. Look at the... This is not cheap cardboard. Like, it is cardboard, but it's it's like that thicker, nice, like, um, cardboard. And the... It's been like... How would you describe it? Imprinted, inlaid, with like this gold press. It's so pretty. And look at this. This is an actual like metallic piece that's been like glued on it is beautiful look at this beautiful hardware that is metal that is absolutely gorgeous look at that i've never seen a palette that has metal on it before that's just absolutely gorgeous this i feel like you can tell this is made with a lot of love and for 16 dollars i can see what tati was talking about see you can see the, the website back here actiasluna.cosmetics.com uh, no longer functions. You can see there they also have their Instagram and all that other information down here. It's this beautiful watercolor art that they've used. I really love it. It's very simple. It's very chic. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love the simplicity, the elegance of the outside of this palette. So now let's open up in the inside. The mirror in the inside. There is a small mirror in the inside which we're gonna, we're gonna cover that up. And then here we have the color story. So as far as I can see, there seems to have only be like two other reviews on this palette from what I can find. But I was really caught by how beautiful the color story is. Um, I like that there's four kind of shimmery shades in here. I loved the... what's the word? I like how simple it looks. Like it makes sense that you... that at the baseline you could do a look here, there's a look there, there's a yellow look. You know what I mean? And then there's enough color where you can mix your pinks, your greens, your yellows. I feel like these don't feel like they clash. It feels like this makes sense, especially for a spring palette. This is very spring. I think these are beautiful. If you want the full swatches, um, go check out that Tati's video below, she, where she does a little segment on this palette as well. But I don't really think... 
I ran into any issues with this palette, especially for $16. It's a very affordable price for a new indie brand. A lot of indie brands, um, you know, they come out with really expensive palettes usually, and they try to just get that reliance, that security, your trust, that because it's a more expensive palette, that it's going to be a good palette. You don't see a lot of indie brands with affordable palettes these days that are good quality. So I think I agree with Tati when she says that the shimmers on here are very beautiful. The mattes do need a little bit of work, um, but not that much. I think they almost got the perfect formula down. I had to maybe work on the mattes a little bit longer than I needed to, but overall they ended up working fine formula-wise. Um, skin tone wise, my issue mostly came from my my skin tone where these colors, there wasn't enough difference once applied on the eye for me on my eye. Right, sorry about that. Where was I? So a lot of the matte shades on here kind of ended up looking the same on my skin tone. I think that was my personal major issue is that on my eye, they kind of all ended up looking the same, even though you can clearly see here, right, that this bottom row is darker. On the eye, it kind of all looked almost the same to me. There just wasn't enough depth for my personal preference, but that doesn't take away by how good this formula is for a $16 palette. Um, my favorite shades in here, let's turn it around. Um, I think this palette, especially after knowing that Tati, you know, quite like this palette. I don't want to say they know that she necessarily influenced me, but I did see it on her channel and made, she made me feel like I wanted to buy it. I think that these shimmer shades, that I, now that I've played with them, they're really pretty. They're very soft. Oh, I think that these shimmer shades in here for $16 are very beautiful. I love a mint. Y'all know I love a mint. Look at that. It's giving more of a, a highlight, like a highlighter. It's more subtle. It's not as intense. Look at that green. That green is probably the best one in here. Look at that. And then the gold. The gold's probably second. We love a gold. Look at those shades. So beautiful. I think that even though they are supposed to be more of like shimmers, I think the shades in here are almost more satin feeling. They're more subtle. They're Some of them are like these two are a bit more subtle. They're a bit more sheer, a bit more sheen. It's a soft spring makeup look. I feel like I think this palette would do well on mature skin as well. I don't know, it's just so soft and there's bright colors in here, but not intensely so. Like they look very bright in the palette. Like let's do noc nocturnal and like antennae, antenna. And they, they look bright, but they're not as bright as they may actually appear to seem. They're not as dark. They're very soft. And I think that would work for someone who wants a more subtle look, but still have the color. Like, look at look at the yellow. On my skin tone, the yellow looks more, it's a bit more orange. It's there, but it's a lot more subtle. I think it's very pretty. Overall, do I recommend this palette? I do recommend this palette. I think this palette is specifically for someone who's looking for color, who wants to play with color a little bit more. It's, this palette's almost like an introduction to color, and for $16, I don't think that's, you know, a bad deal. The shimmers in here, I am a shimmer girl, I love these shimmers, I approve of the shimmers. I think the mattes could use a little bit more work, but other than that, I really like the simplicity of the color story. I absolutely love the packaging of the palette. What I would love to know is, where did this brand go? Because they're, they're MIA, they have gone missing. If you ever run into this palette, and this is something you absolutely want, maybe there's a reseller out there now, but I, I did like this palette. This is a really beautiful palette. I've never run into a palette with such gorgeous hardware here. That is so pretty. I think this is a really nice palette for spring. Let me know down below if you know what happened to this brand, because I would really love to know. I'm so surprised that it's almost like they've disappeared. Um, I approve of this palette. I think it's wonderful, and I think it was a good recommendation from Tati. Y'all have a great day.